I'm Ken Hubbard, travel and landscape photographer. Today I'll be shooting in Yellowstone National Park exclusively with Tamron's new 18 to 400 millimeter lens. It is the world's first ultra telephoto all-in-one zoom lens. It is designed for your APS-C digital SLR camera. I love national parks and Yellowstone has some of the most unique and exciting landscapes in the nation. The combination of wildlife and seismic activity make this place otherworldly. Here at the fire hole, the waters are almost boiling, creating a tremendous amount of steam. So it's a good thing this lens has moisture resistant construction. The Tamron 18 to 400 is the close focusing lens. At 17.7 inches when zoomed to 400 millimeters, it will give you a stunning 1 to 2.9 macro. It also utilizes Tamron's exclusive HLD autofocus system for quick and quiet focusing. With so many active geothermal features in Yellowstone National Park, it feels like it's still being created. It is really humbling to witness mud boiling because lava is so close to the crust of the earth. I was hoping to have clouds at sunset, but when they didn't arrive, I concentrated on shooting the reflections in the pools all along the basin. I also used a telephoto end of the lens to shoot detail images of the geyser itself. This morning I got up before dawn to drive out to Artist Point to shoot the famous waterfalls at sunrise. Getting to Artist Point before sunrise, VC was really important because I was able to get sharp images without bringing my tripod. VC is Tamron's vibration compensation. It's an image stabilizer within the lens. It allows me to effectively hand hold while capturing images at slower shutter speeds. I don't usually like getting up before dawn, but when I get to a location and there's beautiful light and no one else there, it's definitely worth it. When traveling through a national park, you should have your camera ready at all times because you'll never know what you'll find around the next bend. Since you have to be a minimum of 25 yards from the bison, the magnification at 400 millimeters is really important. In 35 millimeter terms, it is the equivalent field of view of 28 to 620 millimeters. It allows you to be able to go from this to this in seconds without changing lenses. I got up this morning before sunrise to make my way over to Mammoth Hot Springs. A little bit of boiling water doesn't affect the bird. What I love about these mega zoom lenses is the ability to quickly change my composition to include a lot or to zoom in and get tight on a subject. When the sun crested over the mountain and hit Canary Spring, it was visually stunning. This park is just doesn't sink in for a couple of days. There's something about it that just makes you go, all right, we're pretty small. With the combination of great light, the steam rising, and Tamron's 18 to 400, I was able to get this. It's difficult to explain how wonderful Yellowstone National Park is, but with the Tamron 18 to 400, I was able to come close to showing the power of nature. 